stars have always been part of civilizations. In ancient times, we relied upon the motion of stars to navigate distances and determining seasons. Simply, stars are the very reason we exist. We are literally made up of stardust. A star, by definition, is an astronomical object consisting mostly of hydrogen and helium, all held together by its own gravity. Stars are the most fundamental building blocks of galaxies. So, how many stars are there in our Milky Way galaxy? Clearly, it is impossible to know exactly how many stars are out there. But astronomers estimate that our galaxy alone is made up of approximately 100 billion stars. Many years ago, astronomer Carl Sagan famously said that there are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on Earth's beaches. It is impossible to know exactly how many stars are out there in the cosmos. But it is estimated that the universe contains at least one quadrillion stars, which is one, followed by 24 zeros. These stars come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Some are fairly small but extremely heavy, such as the exotic neutron stars. While others are low in mass, much cooler and common throughout the galaxies, such as red dwarfs. The star that we see and feel every single day, the sun, is technically classified as a yellow dwarf. The sun is a pretty boring star. Burning through the hydrogen in its core, our middle-aged sun is comfortable at its current, relatively petite size. Though it will stay this way for about 5 billion years more, our star will eventually run low on hydrogen and switch to fusing helium. This will inflate the sun into a red giant star over the span of just a couple of hundred million years. After destroying the innermost planets like Mars and Earth, the sun will continually shed its outer layers. It will eventually leave behind a smoldering white dwarf, which will be surrounded by a beautiful planetary nebula of glowing gas. That's the amazing life that most stars live. But just like people, some stars have wildly different experiences. The universe has produced some truly massive stars, such as the mighty Ui Scuti. This ginormous ball of glowing plasma is classified as a red supergiant star. It was once considered the largest star to be ever discovered. Located in the constellation Scutum, Ui Scuti was originally estimated to be 1,700 times larger than the Sun. For many years, it was believed to be the largest star in the known universe. However, now Ui Scuti doesn't even make it into the top 10 list. The reason for this sudden downgrade is because it is actually a lot closer to Earth than originally estimated. More recent and accurate measurements have found that Ui Scuti is more likely to be 775 times the size of our Sun. Still making it a gigantic star, but nowhere near as big as many others that have already been discovered. So, which is the largest known star in the universe? Well, that title currently belongs to Stevenson 2 18. Stevenson 2 18 is truly enormous, with an estimated radius of 2,150 times the size of our Sun. In fact, if we could replace the Sun with this colossal star, then it would easily engulf the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn, which is on average 1.4 billion kilometers away. The enormous star is a part of a relatively small cluster called Stevenson 2. This cluster is located around 20,000 light years away. The cluster also contains 26 other confirmed red supergiant stars, which is far more than any other known cluster in the universe. This newly titled largest star is also very young, around 14 to 20 million years old. According to the current understanding of stellar evolution, Stevenson may even continue to grow bigger, possibly one day becoming what is known as a yellow hypergiant star. Just a few million years from now, this gigantic glowing ball of plasma may enter into the latter stages of its life. It will quickly burn its fuel and eventually explode in a catastrophic but magnificent supernova. It might also leave behind a black hole as a reminder of this star's extreme size. Of course, stellar sizes are only estimates based on the measurements from great distances. We will have to wait until further studies are completed to find out if Stevenson is really the king of the stars, or whether another one is waiting to take the top spot.